Hello, in this lecture, we're going to record the payment of cash for supplies. We're going to record the transaction, the journal entry up here on the left hand side. We will then record that journal entry to the trial balance and see the shorthand of what will happen to our accounts, including our assets in green, our liabilities in orange, our equity in light blue, and the income statement, including revenue and expenses in the darker blue, and the net income being the revenue minus the expenses. First question is cash affected in this case we paid cash therefore it is and cash has a debit balance we're going to make cash go down by doing the opposite thing to it as what it is it's a debit therefore we're going to credit it we're going to put the credit on the bottom because credits traditionally go on the bottom although we are thinking of cash first we are putting it on the bottom and thinking of the credit first because it can be easier to think of cash before we think of the other side of the journal entry if we post that out then we're saying that we have a debit in cash of 123,650 before the journal entry. We credit it by 350, bringing the cash balance down to 123,300. Now we're gonna have to debit something for 350 if there are only two accounts in the transaction, which there are. And that debit will of course be to supplies. In this case, it's gonna debit to supplies. You might be asking, why is it supplies an asset up here? Notice we pulled it from an asset in the green area and not down here supplies expense down in the dark blue area that is because we're assuming that we're going to purchase the supplies and treat it kind of like inventory we're going to put it on there capitalizing it as an asset and then expensing it as we use it in accordance with the matching principle now if it was really small type of supplies we've just bought paper clips or something we would probably expense it to supplies expense however if it's a large amount of supplies and it's something that's going to have a material effect on our financial statements then under the accrual method of matching we should put it on as an asset and then expense it as it is used so that's going to be what we will do here we're going to debit then the supplies expense up top and that brings the asset up to 350. what's the effect on the accounting equation assets assets went up absence went up because the supplies went up by the 350 here but assets always also went down because cash went down so this is one of those funny ones on the accounting equation where one side went up and down meaning assets went up and assets went down we got rid of one asset being cash in this case and got another asset being supplies in this case nothing has yet been consumed all that has happened is a trade has happened therefore there's no effect on liabilities no effect on the owner's equity and if there's no effect on owner's equity, we also know that there's no effect on the income statement. Although we are purchasing supplies, because we put it on the books as an asset rather than supplies expense, not expensing it now, but expensing it in the future is what we will do <laughs> once it has then been consumed, means that at the time of purchase, no impact on net income. Net income calculated as revenue of the 10000 in this case, or 10000 over here, minus the expenses of 600 and the 715 giving us that credit balance of 8650 revenue at this time. <laughs>